I love to study the history of the great moves of God's Spirit. And one of the things that I find is within those moves, there's always some person, some person or group of people that really have a heart for God. They seek the face of God and God moves and works in a mighty way. In the 1700s, there was a man by the name of John Wesley. And it's, you, you've watched a lot of these devotions. You know that I, I don't really read things. I, I, I quote things, but I've got a long quote that I want to quote to you about John Wesley. Bishop J.C. Ryle, who was wrote of the great preachers, the great men and women of God of the 1700s, he wrote this about Wesley. And let me just read to you what he said. John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, certainly had that philosophy. Bishop J.C. Ryle said of him, he was a bold fighter on Christ's side, a fearless warrior against sin, the world, and the devil, an unflinching adherent of the Lord Jesus Christ in a very dark day. He honored the Bible. He cried down sin. He made much of Christ's blood. He exalted holiness. He taught the absolute need of faith, repentance, and conversion. Oh, what a man. God used him mightily. One of the things that he did was he went outside. He and Whitfield both did this. They went outside the, the four walls of the church and they preached to people on the outside because they knew that people needed God and they, they, didn't, they didn't have enough room in the little churches to preach. Well, uh, he founded a church just on the outskirts of London. And so one day when I was traveling through Europe and I went through London, I wanted to visit. John Wesley's church, and so I did. So I went and visited that, that old church, and, and, and I wanted to learn what I could learn. And it was very interesting. I was given a tour, and, and the person who gave the tour talked about some of the famous people who had come to the church since that time. The former Prime Minister of England, uh, Margaret Thatcher, had been there. The Queen of England at one time had been there. But uh, he began to talk about the church and said, it's pretty empty now. And I said, well, why is it empty? Why don't you have people coming? And he said, well, you, you have to look at our neighborhood now. Our neighborhood has changed, and it's mostly of international people of other religions besides Christianity. And I got to thinking about that. If John Wesley were here today, that's who he would be with. He would be sharing the love of Jesus with them. That's where he would be ministering. He wouldn't be pulling back. He would be going forward. For you see, the Bible says, the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the whole earth to show Himself mighty on behalf of those whose heart towards Him. God's looking for a man or a woman who says, I want you, I need you. We need some John Wesley's of today. We need some George Whitfield's of today. We need some people whose hearts cry out for God, who cry out to reach the world for Christ. When God finds such a person, our churches will be filled and overflowing. Oh, is your heart hungry to see God send revival?